short shots. They seem so easy, and yet for you, they're so hard. Why are they so difficult? Well, you're skiing, and you're playing golf, and you can't do both at the same time. I don't want you falling down, breaking an ankle. We've got to stop the skiing, and the first thing you got to do is start telling people what, about what we've got going on over here, so tell your buds. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Solve the short game stuff. Here's what I see. Hold on, I'm going to need another club. So this is what I see. I see you out there trying to hit these short shots, and you're going like this. Shoo, shoo, shoo. You're skiing. Stop skiing. Your knees are moving way too much. You're in here like this, and you're going like this, and then you're going like this. And meanwhile, when you, go like, when you move your knees right, your head goes left. And when you move your knees left, your head goes right. This is how you're skiing. What I want you to do is I want you to keep that, the, the knees high. I want the shins to stay level. I don't want them moving around a whole bunch. I don't want you doing this number. This is the Shakira. We don't want this. Th this is a little bit better down the line. The Shakira is a little bit better down the line. When you start seeing this action going like this, which is what I see a lot of people do. So they get in here and they're going to hit a short shot and they go like that and then they go like that and then it's a base hit to right and they don't have the wheels and they get thrown out at second base. Stop the skiing. Keep your shins quiet. And all of a sudden when you keep them quiet, now we got a chance. Bring in the shin master again. And here's what you're going to do. Simple thing to do. First of all, I'm going to move the ball back here for a second. Second, we're going to get in here now. Many of you are going are to hit these chips and pitches with an open stance. That's fine. You just got to take the shin master and you got to turn it on an angle so that both shins are the same distance from that bar. So we're right here. And now what I want to do is I want to feel like those shins are staying very quiet. Okay, and then we bring the ball in here and now very quiet. Try it again. So we're going to do a little bit of a. Your knees are going to move. They are going to move. You just don't want a lot of movement out of them. I don't want the, the when your shins are moving, what happens is they're moving improperly. They affect the height of your head. They affect the low point of the swing because you start seesawing. And so what we want to do is we want to keep those shins quiet and then if you look at what's happening with my shins look at how quiet my head is if my head's not moving all over the place my distance to the ground isn't really changing and now all of a sudden the club can just move through the ball nice and freely so in here like this and now really good strike ball first spinning exactly the way you want you have to appreciate the importance of a level head and what affects the levels of your head what affects the levels of your shoulders what affects the the angle that your spine is at and when your knees start skiing like this you start getting varying uh, levels to heads and when your knees are doing this and they're doing this we start to get some seesawing out of the upper spine and we got to keep that still we got to keep that level so in here like this, just like that. Now I'm going to take some of that left angle away because I want to hit it at that target. And that one went right at the target. I hit a little bit harder than I want to. But what I can tell you is with the consistency of the, the movement of the shins, the consistency of the level of the, your head, these short shots that you think are so hard but should be so easy are going to be easy and easy. It takes a little bit of practice. It takes a little bit of trust. You got to get in there. You got to work on it. And you got to feel like those knees now are kind of staying the same height that the shins are staying the same distance from that bar and you're not altering it boom they're going to move a little bit but you're feeling like they're not and when you start to do that that short game is sure to improve to improve all parts of your game subscribe to my channel and click the link below